Digitally signing or adding a digital signature to your document does two things. It first confirms the identity of the person who digitally signed the document, and second, a document can't be modified without first removing that digital signature. So that way, if you say you sent me this document, but there's not a digital signature attached to it, either you forgot to add it, or you added it, but somebody else intercepted it and removed it, possibly making changes to it, in which case I can't trust the document that it's the original in part or as a whole. Now, there are two ways you can digitally sign your document. One way is invisible. I know it sounds kind of kooky, but I'll explain it in just a minute, because the other way is visible. The invisible way to sign your document just means, hey, it's for me and it hasn't been modified. The other way, the visible, says the same thing. It hasn't been modified and it's from you, but also has a line that you can actually type your signature digitally on to say that you're accepting of whatever they have as in a signed contract, which Microsoft doesn't recommend that you use the digital signature to sign contracts electronically, the visible one at least, or both actually, but in any case, that's up to you. First, we'll do the invisible signature. To do that, you want to sign your documents? Well, come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage to Info, and then down to Protect Your Document, and then right there, Add a Digital Signature. And it says, Ensure the integrity of the document by adding an invisible digital signature. I wasn't kidding. It's actually invisible. Well, not really, but in comparison to the signature line, it's not as visible as that, but we'll go over that in just a minute. Now, in order to use this service, you want to sign up for a digital signing service. Well, let me show you. Let's go ahead and click back. And to find what services are available, click on the Insert tab. Go over to the Text group. And click on the Signature Line drop-down arrow and say that you want to add a signature service. Click on it. Opens up the web page to support.office.com where you can find digital ID or digital certificate services, scroll down, gives you a list of companies. I got mine from, and I think that's a pretty cool signature. You can check out the others and see what works best for you. In any case, when it comes to installing this digital signature on your computer so you can sign your documents digitally, you want to go ahead after you purchase this, which is about 20 to 30 bucks a year to use these on average. In any case, you want to follow the instructions to install it on your computer. And then once you have it installed, then come with me, good neighbor. Let's close out of here. Go back once it's been installed and you follow the instructions from that digital service. Click on the File tab to sign it. Again, Info, Protect, to add a digital signature. And there's mine right there, Komodo. And let's start up at the top. You're about to add a digital signature to the document. The signature will not be visible within the content of this document. Well, it's not what you think it is. You can actually see it, not the actual details. There's a couple of things you can do to see the details after you signed it. In any case, we'll go over that in just a minute. First off, the commitment type. You can click on the drop-down arrow and say there's no commitment, or you created and approved this document, or you approved the document, or you created this document. I'll say I created and approved this document. And then the purpose for signing the document, if you've got one, you can go ahead and say something like, well, for me, to prove that it's really for me. And then below that, to include information about the signer, click the Details button. Uh, you can include whatever you like here, like the title, and the President and anything else. I'm going to go ahead and click Okie Dokie. And then you have the option to change your signature here. If you have more than one digital signature, click on Change. I only have one, so I'll have to go with that one. Let me click Cancel, but you can select another one and go OK with that. And then when you're done, click Sign. And it says your signature has been successfully saved with this document. The document's changed. Your signature becomes, well, erased, invalid. OK. And then it highlights it right here, saying this document has been signed and marked as final. And we'll talk about the Mark as Final feature in the next couple of training videos. And if anyone tampers with the document, the signatures will become invalid or erased. And then you can see down below, this document has been marked as final to discourage editing. So they can go ahead and remove it, or they can edit the document. But when they do that, it removes the Mark as Final, which we'll cover in a later training video and also erase the signature. So, with it signed, let's go ahead and click the back arrow, and this is what it looks like in the front stage here. It's marked as final. You can go ahead and just 
close out of it, send it off to somebody else, they open it up and like, oh, it's been marked as final. Well, did Kurt sign it? How do you find out? Well, you can come down below on the status bar and it's right there. This document contains signatures. So you see what it means by invisible? It's not visible, but you can make it visible by clicking on that little ribbon right there. Well, if you can see it on that page, click on it. Opens up the task pane. Oh, great. Valid signature says it's unknown, but if I click on the drop-down arrow and I want the details, click on it. And there you go. Opens it up. Issued by Komodo. You can see additional signing information that was collected. Click on the link. Wow, it really shows you everything, like what Office version I'm using, the Windows version, primary monitor, okie dokie, and then see information about the signer, click on it. Like we did, we typed in the title, President, okie dokie. And then if you want to view the certificate, go ahead and click on View. And there you go, certificate information. You also have the details and the certification path. The user trust network, Komodo, to, hey, that's my email, specialk at videotrainpro.com. Cool. Let's go ahead and click okie dokie and then close out. And if you remove the digital signature, then, well, it won't be over here in the signatures task pane, making it invalid. Well, if it's not there, how can it be valid? And so to remove it, just go ahead and click on edit the document anyways. When you click on it, it says editing will remove the signature in this document. You want to continue? Yes. Signature has been removed. The document has been saved. Okay, so there you go. No more signatures. When I close out, can't bring it back up from the status bar down below because that little document with the ribbon on it that lets you know that there's a signature tied to it, well, it's been cleaned out. So we don't have any signatures. And if you get a document like this without any signatures, you can go ahead and email the person back and say, hey, man, what's up? usually sign your documents and they could say oh I forgot in which case alright just go ahead and send it again or if they're like hey I signed it then you're like oh my gosh the NSA got a hold of this document they made changes to it I can't trust it or just let the person know that it was removed before you got it in any case they can go ahead and resend it again so that's the invisible now you want to see the visible of course you do let's come up here click on the insert tab and go to the text group and click on the drop down arrow there's the Microsoft Office Signature Line. Or you can just go ahead and click off, click on Signature Line, same thing. So to set it up, you want to go ahead and type in the suggested signer, for example, John Doe. Okay, that's going to be me. I'm the signer of this document, so it will be Kurt Kershaw, suggested signer's title, president, suggested signer's email, me at kurtkershaw.com. Instructions to the signer. Well, the default says before signing this document, verify the content you are signing is correct. Uh, you can leave it like that, or you can go ahead and, you know, delete it and type in your own thing. Make sure you're okie dokie with this before we charge your credit card. And so, before you sign it, you'll get the instructions to the signer that if they're okay, then they'll sign it. And then below that, you can allow the signer to add comments in the sign dialog and then show sign date in the signature line. Groovy. Let's go ahead and click okie dokie. When I click on it, it adds it right there. Now, do I want it there? Well, you can go ahead and click and drag it all the way down, which brings up a good point. Wherever you want this digital signature line at, that's where you want to put the cursor. And I just got one more page to go. Okay, towards the end there. Oh, that's better, because, you know, Signatures come at the end of documents. Well, typically they do. In any case, you go ahead and save the document, and then you send it off to that person for them to sign. Unless you set it up yourself, and you want to go ahead and sign it yourself, in which case to sign it, you just have to double-click. Ooh, X marks the spot. You just need to type in your name to digitally sign it, or if you have an image with your chicken scratch, go ahead and click on Select Image, and browse throughout your computer, or... You can search online for an image, but that doesn't sound too secure by using any image online. Let me close out. Oh, and don't forget, up at the top where we said make sure you are okie dokie with this before we charge your credit card. So they'd want to look up there to get any details about the signing, which is about the credit card. 
And then down below to include information about the signer, click the details button. Oh, sure, why not? You can type in president, whatever. I'm going to click cancel. You already have it right there. And then signing, you can use that digital signature certificate or click on change and choose another one, but I only have one, so I'm good. Click cancel, click sign. Your signature has been successfully saved with the document. If the document's changed, your signature will become invalid. Well, it will erase it. So let's go ahead and click OK. And hey, there it is. Oh, that's fun. It makes me feel so important. And there's the date right there of signing it. And so you can go ahead and send it back to the person when they get it. They're like, oh, that's nice. But if somebody gets it in the meantime and they click on Edit Anyways, that's not good because then it clears out the signature here. And you can see down below, on the status bar. It says the document contains digital signatures. You can click on that to open up the task pane or close out. You can also right click on this to get the signature details. Close out. You can also right click to get the signature set up, how it was set up, and then of course you can right click on it to remove the signature. Or you can just come up here and click on edit anyways. And edit team will remove the signatures in the document. Do you want to continue? Yes. Signatures have been removed. The document has been saved. So no going back. So in general, why digital signatures, for the most part, or the main reason why you digitally sign it, to let the other person know that it's from you. As far as security goes and legalities of it, well, you may want to talk to your attorney if you're signing a contract digitally here. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.